machines. A machine is a tool used to make work easier. In science, work is defined as a force acting on an object to move it across a distance. Pushing, lifting and pulling are common forms of work. We can classify machines into two types. Simple machines that have only one or a few parts as a corkscrew and compound machines consisting of two or more simple machines as a motorbike. In this unit, we are going to focus on simple machines. Simple machines have been used since prehistory dates. Nowadays, we can see simple machines everywhere. There are six simple machines. Pulley, witch, lever, screw, an inclined plane, and wheel and action. A pulley uses grooved wheels and a rope to raise, lower or move a load. A witch is white at one end and pointed at the other end that is used to separate things. Some examples of witches are knives and doorstops. A lever has a bar rested on a fulcrum and is pushed down at one end to lift an object. The fulcrum is a pivot point around which a lever turns. The load is the object or person we need to move. The effort is when the person using the lever applies the force. There are two different kinds of lever depending on where the different elements of the lever are. First class, fulcrum is located between the force and the load. Second class, load is located between the fulcrum and the force. And third class, the force is located between the fulcrum and the load. A screw is a rod with a spear wrapped around it. It is used to move, lift, lower or hold things in a place. An inclined plane is a flat surface that has an angle used to move loads. Wheel and axle. This simple machine is a fixed wheel turning on a rod through its center. Fun facts about simple machines. Did you know that simple machines were first discovered and described by Greek philosopher Archimedes? The Egyptians likely used the inclined plane to help build the pyramids. Using drums would have made getting the large stones to the top much easier. And your bicycle makes use of nearly every kind of simple machine in order to make a more complex machine. Remember, in case of any doubts, contact me, teacher Magda, science6.blogspot.com.